it's just very intriguing. And there are maps in the beginning of the book. Hello, and welcome to my vlog. I have been having a really tough reading week this past week. Actually, you know what? It's the whole month. I have been having a tough reading month. I have read a couple of books that I liked okay or pretty well. There have also been a couple of books that have been just like super, super disappointing to me. I really feel like for this vlog, I need to focus on trying to read things that I'm going to really enjoy. And I don't feel like I've been very good at predicting that lately. So here's the plan. Today is my last day of work before I go on spring break. Sean is a teacher, so he gets spring break. So I took a week off to spend time with him. So I'm gonna have lots of reading time. We're also gonna be doing a lot of stuff to the house. We bought a 120 year old house last summer and there's basically an endless list of projects that go along with that in case you didn't know. So we're gonna be working on that. Uh, but in terms of my reading, what I really wanna do is try the first chapter of the rest of the books that are on my TBR for March and see which ones of them I really feel like this seems like something I could give five stars to because I really want to get a five star read in March if possible. The highest rating I've had so far this month was four stars, which is a good rating, but I just really want something that I'm going to love. First one that I have is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I've already started the first chapter of this. I'll let you know what I think about that a little bit later, but this is the first one I'm going to try. I'm sitting here in the window, so lots of glare on these books. So Legendborn. Then I also have The Light Brigade by Cameron Hurley. This is a sci-fi kind of like space opera kind of thing. It seems like it's going to be pretty action filled. And I just read a book that I found so slow that I could feel the reading slump coming on. So something with a lot of action in it might be a good thing right now. And then I also have In Ascension by Martin McInnes. This wasn't on my March TBR, but it's a new release and the library had my copy for me, so I went ahead and got it. Unfortunately, my library only lets you have a new release for two weeks, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to read it before I have to take it back. But we'll see, because I have heard that this one is a little bit of a slower read, so I don't know if that's what I'm going to read directly after something that I struggled with the slowness of. So we'll see. And then on my Kindle, I have The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett, which was one of my most anticipated reads of the month. So I'm going to try the first chapter of that. I'm going to try the first chapter of all four of these books and report back on what I think. And I'm going to try to predict if there are any of them that I think are going to be five star reads. And we'll see how good I am at doing that and how many of these I'm able to read in this week that I'm off, but also probably doing a lot of home improvement projects. So if that sounds fun to you, I hope you're going to stick around and welcome to the vlog. back and I have read the first chapter in all four of the books that I said I was going to, which was quite an experience, let me tell you. And I am happy to share that I have picked the next two books that I'm going to read in this vlog. So first, I'm going to read The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett, um, which I only have on Kindle, so I'm going to try to get it to focus on that. Maybe. I knew this was going to be one of them because I read the first chapter and then I did not want to stop reading. So that's a good sign. It is very much a detective story. We start with a murder mystery. Our main character is the assistant to the detective, apparently. So there has been a murder. He shows up, he's doing the investigation. Everybody's like, where's the actual detective? And he's like, you really don't want her to be here, okay? So that's very mysterious. And I'm really interested to find out what the deal is with the detective. It's not exactly a normal case. 
So he gets there and there is this guy who has basically a plant growing out of him and that is what has happened to him. So that is going to be really different to read. I'm just like, I don't know, it's just very intriguing. And there are maps in the beginning of the book. And I trust Robert Jackson Bennett. Uh, I really love his writing. He's one of my favorite writers right now. So definitely going to be reading that one. The other book that I think I'm going to read this week is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Uh, this is actually a pretty long book. It's like over 500 pages long. It's young adult. Our main character, her name is Bree, and she is attending an early college program at UNC Chapel Hill, where it seems that there may be some things going on that you don't expect to find at an early college program at UNC Chapel Hill. Okay. This feels like it's going to be really fast paced. It's young adult, so it feels like it's not going to drag and be slow, which is exactly what I need right now. So I'm really glad that I did this experiment reading the first chapters because these two, I feel pretty reassured, are not going to put me into a reading slump. I do want to talk about the two books that I did not choose. And I actually think that not only did I not choose these books for this vlog, but I'm probably going to go ahead and return them to the library because I don't think I feel like reading them right now at all. The first one is The Light Brigade, uh, which is a space opera. It has some kind of a um, some kind of a thing where people are taken apart to travel faster than light when they come back together. They're not exactly the same. Um, the first chapter is in the head of this main character who's just joined the military. There's a lot of immediate violence and a lot of immediate cursing and a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily object to in general, but I don't think I'm in the mood to read right now. It just feels like it's going to be a very intense experience in that way, and I don't feel like that's what I want to read this week or possibly right now, so I'm going to go ahead and return this to the library. And then the other book is in Ascension, which I showed before, uh, and I said I was worried that it was going to be really slow because I've seen some people read it and say that it was very slow, and I'm here to tell you that it is very slow. I didn't actually finish the first chapter because I just couldn't tell what was going on. Um, it was telling a story of this family and the childhood probably of the main character in the book, but it was very slow, it was very descriptive, and I didn't feel like that was what I want to read right now. So this one, this is a new release, so I'm going to take this back to the library so that somebody else can read it who is going to appreciate it more than I do right now. Doesn't mean either one of these two books is a bad book, it just means that they're not what I'm in the mood for right now, and I'm not going to be reading them. So I am going to start with The Tainted Cup, so that'll be the first book that I read for this vlog. I'm probably going to head off to the library to return these books and a couple of other books I have that are new releases that I want other people to be able to check out. So I'm going to do that. I uh, might take a little footage of my local library so you all can see what that is like. Then I'm going to come back here. I've got some editing to do. And then after that, I think I'm just going to kind of chill and hang out. It's so nice to be off work on a weekday and just not really have anything to do. It just feels so strange. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. See y'all later.
am back. Um, we spent yesterday, we drove down to Louisville. I don't really remember ever if it's down or up. We drove down to Louisville. Uh, we went to a soccer game. We did um, some food with family. We toured around some places. It was really fun. Uh, we are originally from Louisville. We've lived up here for about five years now, I guess. It doesn't seem that long, but I guess it's been five years. And um, I do really miss home. So it's always nice to visit, which we do a lot in the summertime. So um, you'll probably be seeing plenty more of Louisville if you watch my vlogs. But anyway, the reason I'm here right now is because I want to give a reading update on the Tainted Cup. I am at 39% in my book now, but I am really, really, really enjoying it. It's um, so different, I would say, from Robert Jackson Bennett's other books that I have read. Uh, not in terms of the world building. His world building is always really amazing and no difference here. Like it's really, really good. But um, in terms of what's actually going on, so this is kind of described or sold as a detective story. And I would say that it is really a detective story that is set in a high fantasy world. Uh, and not only that, but it is a Holmes Watson type detective story where your POV character is Watson and his name is Din. He is an engraver, which means that he can remember the finest details of every single thing that he sees. And that's because he has had some kind of an enhancement done to him. The science of it isn't super clear to me. It's kind of more like magic, I think, where um, there are things that uh, you can ingest that will almost just rewrite your brain in this world. And so he has had these alterations done that make it so that he can remember everything, which makes him the perfect observer for a detective, especially a detective like our Holmes in this situation. Her name is Anna. And she is definitely uh, a very eccentric, interesting character, which if you've read any Sherlock Holmes, you know, well, that tracks. So that's basically the way that his character is, too. So she's a really interesting character. She's very eccentric. Uh, she wears a blindfold a lot of the time because she says if you can't see, if you can't use one of your senses, it's going to sharpen your other senses and your mind. So... It gives you some idea of uh, what's going on with her. It's also really funny. The relationship between Anna and Den is uh, kind of endearing. Uh, we don't see her as much as we see him because we are following him, but uh, it's just, it's very good. In this world, there are leviathans, which I gather are something like a sea monster, who during the wet season every year will tack the walls of this land that the story takes place in. Uh, they're coming, the wet season is on its way, and that provides this sense of forward motion with the book because the mystery that we are solving in this book starts with a single murder, but soon turns out to be something much, much larger. So that's kind of where I am. We've traveled to a larger city. We're doing some interviewing of witnesses. Uh, like I said, this is a detective story. So if you are someone who loves a detective story, even if you're not super into fantasy, I kind of suspect that this is a book that you would enjoy. And if you're someone who likes fantasy, but maybe doesn't like mysteries at all, this might be something you wouldn't enjoy quite as much. But luckily I am someone who loves all of those things. So I am having a fantastic time and I'm looking forward to getting some more reading done on this later later today and in the next couple days, hope, hoping to finish it um, in the next day or two. So as you can see, I'm in my bedroom right now and you can see I've got a bunch of paint on the wall behind me. Um, that has been there for almost a year since we bought the house when I started painting paint samples on the walls. I painted all of the rooms downstairs and most of the rooms upstairs, but we kind of avoided doing the bedroom because that's the most annoying one to do. But now it is spring break. Um, we are both off work. And so my plan is that we are going to be painting this room starting tomorrow. And the color I am gonna use is the one that is in the top um, left one right over my head here. Uh, it's a pale uh, silvery blue. I'm hoping it's gonna look blue and not gray, but I guess we're gonna see. But I already bought the paint last year, so I am committed, and that is what is it going to be no matter what. Uh, but I enjoy painting, so I think that's gonna be something fun. So I'll be sure to show you the progress in here. I do like the color that the walls are in here right now. It's kind of a taupey 
kind of grayish brown color, but it's a little bit dark for me right now and um, how much light this room generally gets. So I think that once I get this lighter color on it, it's going to really brighten things up. And I'm really looking forward to that. Also, I just love doing house stuff. So now I am headed off to Kroger. I put in an order. I'm going to pick up my Kroger order. And then tonight for dinner, I'm going to make some braised beans with Parmesan rinds, which is a recipe I found in the New York Times, and maybe make a little wedge salad on the side. Sean has uh, picked up a cold from some of the kids at school, I think, so he's not feeling super great. So I feel like we're just going to hibernate and read and play some video games, maybe do some non-stressful things tonight. And I think that sounds fun. So I will see you all later. to Thursday. So it took me about three days to paint the entire bedroom. Um, and I'm really pleased with the result. And as you can see, I got new bedding, which I also really love. It just feels like a whole fresh spring kind of moment. And I'm really excited. Um, so I also managed while I was doing all that to finish reading The Tainted Cup. So I am here with my wrap up for that. I Honestly, five stars, five stars, 100%. Um, loved it. Uh, I was worried that I was getting into a reading slump and that absolutely cured that 100%. It was just such a great book. I loved the characters. I loved the mystery. I loved the world building. Uh, I, I don't know. It was just, it was really great. If you like mysteries, if you like fantasy, if you think you might like all those things kind of at the same time. Um, and I just, thought it was like super fantastic and I really loved it. So five star recommendation for The Tainted Cup. I actually think that it's my favorite of his books and I really love the Founders trilogy or at least the two that I've read. I haven't read the third one yet, um, but it's my favorite one of his books. Definitely. Uh, if you are interested in it at all, I would recommend it. It's not super long and I think it could actually be a good kind of like gateway into fantasy book because it does have the mystery setting, but it's set in this also this just like crazy fantastical world. So I am looking forward so much to the next books. I really hope that they keep doing this kind of like, you know, mystery of the book kind of thing that really works for me. Uh, there's clearly a lot of stuff going on in the background also, but while that's going on, we also have this mystery that we can focus on. So I just really enjoyed it and would recommend it highly. So I also uh, went ahead then after I finished that and I picked up Legendborn by Tracy Dion, um, which I have read maybe 
about 10, 15% of. So I'm, I'm really just at the beginning of the book, but I am really enjoying it so far. It's been a while since I read a young adult book and this book definitely is young adult. It's got all the tropes and it's kind of just what I'm in the mood for right now. So this will probably be my last book that I read for March. So I'm hoping to finish strong with something that's gonna be a four or five star read. So far, it's really intriguing. We've got our main character, there seems to be some kind of a secret society. Magic is real. We know she's got some things that she's not told us about, um, but it's just, it's really enjoyable. So I will be back with a better update for that once I've read a little bit more and I can talk some more about it. But in the meantime, we are about to go for a walk. We're gonna head out. I think we're gonna get some German food. It is opening day. So there's a big deal with the Reds downtown. Um, it's gonna be super crowded. So I'm gonna avoid that completely because we went to the parade last year, so I have satisfied my, my requirements for being a good Cincinnatian. So we are gonna head out, get some German food, um, enjoy a nice walk. It's a really beautiful day and I am still on vacation and it's been a great week so far. So take y'all with me. guys it's sunday take it back it's saturday and i am here to give a little bit of an update about what's been going on i have read up to about 20 percent in legendborn oh grab my book so i am you can see right there and i'm on chapter 16. so I'm having, I think, a little bit of a struggle getting into this one completely, and I don't know if it's just me or um, I am really enjoying, like, our main character. Like, I think she's really great. She's really spunky. I'm really enjoying her, but I'm just having a little bit of a hard time figuring out what the heck is going on within the world, and maybe that's on purpose for the author, uh, but I have been struggling a little bit with that, but I am hoping I've gotten to a place where I feel like they're finally starting to explain a little bit more about what's going on and what this whole thing is with the Knights of the Round Table and the Arthurian legends and everything like that. And if you see the bed moving behind me, that's because the cat likes to sleep underneath the blankets and I am disturbing his slumber right now. He's fine. Let me explain just like a little bit about what this book is about. Our main character is Bree. And she has recently had her mother pass away. So she's been going through kind of a hard time in life. She's a high school student and she's been accepted into the early college program at UNC Chapel Hill. So she shows up for this college program. Um, she's promised her father she won't get into a lot of trouble. So we obviously know she's going to get into a lot of trouble. Uh, and she goes to a party with someone that she knows from school the first night um, where she sees some stuff happen. She sees some monsters, she sees some demons, and hears some people referring to one another as Merlins and sees some magic. And these are all things that she's not supposed to be able to see. So that's kind of where it starts. Um, she is trying to figure out what's going on. She's meeting all these people who are involved with a secret organization. And eventually she gets involved with the secret organization herself. So I'm a little bit concerned because it does seem like we may be getting into kind of a love triangle kind of situation, which is my least favorite kind of shape, right? The love triangle. I don't like them, especially not when You've got the kind of stereotypical, like you've got the good guy and then you've got the bad boy. And I do not like a bad boy in general. And the bad boy in this book is just like not impressing me whatsoever so far. So I feel like that might be a thing, but it might not be a thing too, because like I said, I'm only 20% into the book. So hopefully um, 
either it's not a thing or it's going to be something that is going to be inoffensive. And the book's going to hopefully be more about the plot because I'm not in this book to read about a romance anyway. That's that. Um, I'm going to keep reading this. I have today, let's see, what have I done today? Um, we went, we did some shopping. Um, I did my nails. Yay. They could look better. Uh, it turns out that my top coat was super old because I haven't done my nails since last year. So it didn't turn out super great, but I did my nails for Easter. Uh, tonight, Sean and I are going to be going to sing for the Easter Vigil Mass at uh, the church where one of my friends is a music director. Um, I was a full-time church music director up until about a year and a half ago. So I'm not doing it full-time anymore, but I am still subbing and uh, either playing places or singing when people need somebody to fill in. And Sean's also a singer. So I think that'll be something nice and fun for us to do tonight. We're going to get some Indian food first and then tomorrow for Easter. Um, I don't know that we have a whole lot going on, but that'll be nice too, because Monday I do have to go back to work. So hopefully I'll be able to get in some good reading time and try to get through the rest of this book and be back then maybe to give you more of an idea of what I thought about it. So it is a beautiful, beautiful day here in Kentucky, and I am kind of excited to get out in it. Good morning, and happy Easter. We didn't get back until midnight last night, so I am so tired right now, uh, but got myself together. Um, we're going to head out, pick up our grocery order, and try to find somewhere that is open to have brunch. Uh, I did get to 34% in my book. And it is getting a little better for me. I am feeling a little bit more like I know what's going on. So that is good. Uh, I've got on um, a not very Eastery dress because it is Easter, but it is cold today. So um, I'll try to be back later with a little bit more of an update. Um, hi, Bones. He has, do you have time for us? Hey. The people want to see you. Say hi. Hello. All right. So anyway, that's all I have. Uh, I'll be back later with more. All right, here we are at the end of the vlog. It is Monday morning and I am getting ready to head back into work, which, eh. You, you, know, you get a week off, you're like, I don't wanna face what is waiting for me in the office when I return, but it's okay, it's okay. So I did finish Legendborn and I have to say that I do think the book improved a ton. When we started out, I was kind of like, I don't know how into any of this I am. Um, it was it was a rough start for me, but it did improve. Uh, I don't really think I'm the target audience for this book, clearly, because it's a young adult book and I'm not a young adult anymore. So there's some things I don't really want to criticize. Um, I'm going to give it about a 3.5 out of 5. And I would say it is very, 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 very tropey. So... All the young adult tropes, um, love triangles, bad boys, insta love, chosen one, like up to here, right? All those things are in here and they are all for the most part really well done. Uh, but be aware that it is a pretty tropey young adult book. I ultimately was happy with the story that our main character Brie took, the journey that she took. I loved the representation of her grief over her over the death of her mother. I thought that was really well done, um, really the best part of the book, I thought. I also enjoyed the exploration of um, race and her experiences with racism on campus and things like that. Um, and there's some other stuff that that comes into in the book that I can't get into because it's a spoiler, but that was also extremely well done. I think that if you are somebody who is looking for a young adult fantasy, uh, and you like something that is going to be kind of like the Hunger Games, 
um, or like Cassandra Clare, kind of like the Shadow Hunters series. This is a lot like the Shadow Hunters, and I think you'd really enjoy this. So it is a recommendation. It wasn't my favorite book, but um, I did read The Tainted Cup also this week, which was my first five-star book of the month, actually my only five-star book of the month. So that was a big success. So if you love fantasy and mysteries, definitely check out The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett, because I really enjoyed that. And yeah, that's it. I am running late on my first day back to work. So I've got to get out the door, got to grab my lunch, got to get some coffee um, and get in and and, and start my week. Um, but I will be back with another vlog very soon. I have enjoyed spending this time with you all. As always, if you have enjoyed it, please leave a comment, subscribe, leave an emoji down in the comments. It does mean a lot to me to have people who want to engage with my comment and talk to me about the books that I'm reading. Love to hear what you're reading, what you've been doing this week. If you have a spring break, do you have any plans? Because mine was super early, I know. I hope you all have a great week. I will see you later. Bye.